So good morning and uh, welcome to another open air webinar, uh, this time dedicated to open air explore service. Um, before uh, we start, uh, let's go through some housekeeping rules. So as you already see, the, this event is being recorded. We ask all the participants to put your microphones off during the presentation. If you want to participate, you can uh, use the chat or the Q&A uh, area to introduce yourself at the Q&A to address questions to the speakers. At the end, you can also open your microphone or raise your hand to address a question or doubt to the, to, to, to the speaker. The presentation and the recording will be shared with you by email, but will also be available in the open air portal in the webinar area. Uh, and do share uh, this webinar using these hashtags and uh, on and tag us on Twitter or LinkedIn um, or e even in uh, um, the Facebook, as we have a, a, a group there also. So um, uh, now let's uh, proceed with the uh, with our uh, webinar presenting uh, Open Air Explore. Um, an open research discovery portal providing access to millions of interlinked uh, scholarly works and their related uh, research products, and also contextual information such as organizations and grants. A, this the, the Explore portal uh, is built on top of Open Air Graph, one of the largest scholarly record collections uh, with integrated content from more than 12,000 data sources worldwide. But to better explain and show us, uh, us all these features and new developments, we have here Constantina Galoni, uh, the product manager of this service. So thank you, Constantina, for being here with us today and for accepting this invitation. Uh, and now the floor is, is yours. At the end, we'll have uh, a Q&A or a session for you to, to raise your questions. So thank you, Constantina. I will stop sharing. Thank you very much, Paola. Uh, hello, all. I'm Constantina Galuni. I will share my screen now. Can you see my screen? Yes, all good. Great. Uh, hello, thank you very much for being here. Uh, today we will be presenting uh, Open Air Explore and we will focus on the improvements and the new information available. Uh, as Paula mentioned, Open Air Explore is built on top of the Open Air Graph uh, and uh, is a way to access and explore all, all the Open Air Graph contents, the entities and the relationships of the graph. Uh, these are parts of the home page uh, where we can see uh, all the numbers that uh, Paula mentioned uh, and uh, a, a, a small um, a small intro uh, for the for the graph. Uh, Open Air Explorer has three basic uh, functionalities: uh, the search functionality, the link functionality, and the deposit. Uh, on the search functionality. Uh, users are able to search uh, among all the Open Air Graph content and filter uh, and use filters on uh, some of the metadata uh, of the of the records of the graph uh, to narrow down uh, some search results. Uh, for each re oh, sorry. for each result, uh, users can see an overview of the information available uh, for each record. Uh, they can download the search results and they can also download some reports on the relationships. Uh, we have integrated statistics, metrics and impact-based indicators. Um, and uh, uh, they can see that, them uh, through the search pages and the detailed pages. Uh, the link functionality is the way to enrich the graph uh, by linking opener entities with other opener entities or opener entities with external results. Uh, 
uh, we have also a useful integration with ORCID, which is supported by the ORCID search and link wizard. The deposit is a way to find the repository or journal uh, where you can deposit your research. Let's see an overview of the improvements and the new information we will be discussing later in more detail. Uh, we have improvements in the search pages, uh, which is we have improved the search form, the filters and the search results. Uh, and we have also some new, uh, new information and uh, new uh, functionalities, uh, which are uh, we have added actions for each result in the search pages, and we have also uh, usage counts metrics and impact-based indicators currently uh, for research products, and, and uh, soon they will be available for other entities too. Uh, for the detailed pages, we have uh, made a redesign uh, in order to uh, better display and um, and also uh, highlight the impact-based indicators. And uh, we have also a new interface uh, to suggest missing fields of science or SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, we have also a better way uh, to, an easier way actually, uh, to search uh, on the opener content, on the graph content uh, through the menu. On the linking, we have uh, uh, small improvements on the direct linking uh, flow uh, where we can uh, go from the detailed pages. And we are also uh, have made a redesign of the search results and the detailed pages for the mobile screens. Uh, this uh, has been done, but uh, we're still uh, improving and adding uh, some, uh, some content. Most, most of these improvements uh, have been thoroughly user tested uh, and uh, we, we specifically um, focused on the search results and the detailed pages. Uh, the usability user tests were made to evaluate the usability of the search and landing pages, the detailed pages, uh, and gather feedback from users to improve the Explore service. We had 10 participants, which were researchers and user interface experts. Most of them uh, had a technological background. We covered all the levels of experience with research platforms, uh, with two beginners, four intermediate, and four advanced users. We had recorded one-to-one -one meetings and uh, we, got, uh, we also used a feedback form uh, to the, uh, to, at the end of its uh, test to gather uh, the participants' feedback. We, the, the methodology we followed was to study, uh, was to, yes, was, uh, was done on the beta version of the Opener Explore. Uh, which uh, was updated with the new version and uh, included uh, the new landing page for results and uh, a hybrid version of the search page uh, from the past and how it's, it is now. Uh, a mock-up version uh, for more changes on the filters was presented to, to, com uh, to compare uh, what was preferred. Uh, and. Um, participants were asked to perform tasks uh, related to finding and exploring the content. Let's start with uh, seeing in more detail what we have done and what are the changes. For the search uh, pages, we have uh, simplified the search forms and uh, also unified all the, research, uh, all the search pages. This means that we no longer have uh, two steps in the search form and the user uh, does not need to, to select a specific uh, entity uh, to search. They can easily um, use the simple keyword search uh, and uh, they, can, they can also, with the unification of the search pages, uh, users all, always see uh, all the four available entities 
which are research product projects, data sources, and organizations. And uh, they can easily and fast navigate uh, through all the mall. Uh, the the filters, um, um, sorry, the the type of uh, the research, pro the different types of the research products, which is publications, research data, research software, and other research products, were moved from a uh, top bar that used to be uh, here on the left side with the filters uh, for better group uh, together with the document type. Uh, the document type filter appears uh, when a user selects at least one of the main types of a research product. Uh, this was made to, to better group uh, the, the type um, um, concept and uh, gain more space uh, in order the, uh, to, to make the, all the results uh, more visible uh, to, to the users. We have made a redesign of the search results. Uh, we, we removed the cards we used to have and uh, uh, the users, uh, uh, when they hover on uh, one result, a light, a light blue background uh, covers this result in order to be easily readable and uh, focus uh, on the one that they want to read. Uh, there is a more complex compact way of exposing metadata. Uh, this is on uh, just right after the title. Uh, each of this information has a, a tooltip, uh, an explanation, which means that uh, when we hover uh, on it, we can have uh, what, what this information is about. Uh, we also have the ability to view all authors of a research product from the search page. For each research result, we have uh, on, uh, at the bottom uh, of uh, this, let's say, card, uh, um, a line with the actions that uh, previously were accessible only from the detailed page. Uh, this allows users to, uh, to share for example, on the social media, uh, the, the result immediately, uh, cite the publication, uh, claim to ORCID uh, this research product, uh, embed uh, the, the research results to their own website, uh, view uh, all the available sources. And uh, this uh, is an easier way uh, to, to do more uh, without uh, clicking on a specific detailed page. On the same line at the bottom, on the right side, we have uh, we are exposing uh, some new uh, indicators and uh, usage counts, uh, which are uh, the usage counts indicators and the indicate uh, the indicator based uh, the impact based indicators, which are citations, popularity, influence, and impulse. Uh, and uh, when a user hovers on each one of them a new uh, pop-up window appears uh, to show in more detail uh, what are the values and uh, where we got uh, these values from. Uh, for the, um, in the impact-based indicators, uh, we have an integration with BeepFinder. And uh, for the usage counts indicators, we have an integration with the usage counts uh, service. Uh, we have uh, also uh, done uh, a better uh, gr filter grouping, especially on the project search page. Uh, from the user tests, uh, users uh, had the difficulty in uh, setting uh, the end year. So we reordered uh, those filters and grouped uh, them all together um, and grouped them all together. Um, if they are date related. For the detailed pages now, uh, this is the overview of a detailed page. As you may already know, each detailed page is tailored um, 
depending on the entity selected, uh, which means we have different uh, detailed pages for research products, projects, data sources, and organizations. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the main uh, content of the page has not changed much, but we have moved uh, on the top of the page the actions bar, um, where the the add to orchid uh, button uh, has been renamed to claim orchid. Uh, there is a more compact way of exposing the metadata again here, just like in the search pages. And uh, we have also added a dedicated tab to subjects to emphasize them uh, because uh, they seem to be a very important information for the researchers. Uh, on the top right uh, of the side, on the right column, we have a box, a blue box with the usage counts metrics and the impact-based indicators. Uh, and uh, we can see an overview of them. Uh, on the tabs, we have a dedicated metrics tab where we can uh, click on it. And, uh, oh, sorry, before clicking on it, sorry, I forgot. Uh, if we click uh, on the blue box, uh, each of uh, the citations or popularity or any name, a pop-up window appears to explain better what this is about and where we get it from. Uh, when clicking on the metrics tab, uh, we first have an overview of all the available uh, usage counts, uh, impact-based indicators, and we also have here the alt metrics. And uh, we have uh, also three more tabs, each one of a uh, for each category, for each integration, to show in more detail uh, those numbers and some charts available. Uh, we have, uh, for example, a chart of uh, the impact-based indicators from the finder, and uh, for usage counts indicators, the monthly views and the monthly downloads. For the fields of science, uh, we have uh, removed the numbers from the labels uh, because uh, they are long and uh, very confusing for the users. Uh, and uh, when users click on the, uh, when there are more than uh, three, uh, two or three uh, fields of science uh, or a, a sustainable development goals, uh, users can click on the view all and suggest button. Uh, the, uh, the right box uh, shows uh, all of them, and uh, they can also use the suggest button to, to open the new interface and the new way uh, for just suggesting fields of science and sustainable development goals among the available lists uh, that we have on the graph right now. Uh, this, uh, this feedback is very important for us uh, to uh, to better um, check the um, uh, all the content and uh, if we're missing something, uh, we we wanted to uh, to allow the users to be able to to find uh, an easier way and a quicker way uh, to search uh, on the opener graph content. Uh, from the detailed pages. This is why uh, we added there on uh, the, the menu uh, the, um, uh, this icon, that is the search icon, uh, where if we click it, uh, the menu options uh, are uh, hidden and the search form uh, appears in order to write a keyword and then click on search and uh, move to the search pages immediately. Uh, on the link functionality, uh, for the linking, we have uh, two flows. Uh, the first one is by clicking uh, the link from the menu. Uh, this is a generic linking uh, functionality where users can search among the graph and uh, external sources such as Crossref or DataSite. Uh, to find uh, research products. Uh, 
uh, and link them with uh, other research products, projects or uh, communities. Uh, we have uh, made some improvements on the other flow, which is uh, from the detailed pages. If we click Sorry, on... Constantina. Sorry, Sorry. Constantina. The, the, slide, the slide is stopped, so we only see... Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yes, the direct linking functionality is the one where if we click from the detailed page uh, on the link uh, action button, uh, we want to link the specific research product uh, with uh, some other research products, projects or uh, communities. Uh, then we removed uh, the, the stepper from uh, the top of the page because the first step has already been made. Uh, we have added a link uh, to be able to go back to the publication, for example, or any research product we uh, got uh, from. And uh, we have updated uh, the, um, uh, the basket and or the right column uh, to always uh, show the source uh, on top. We have uh, also made a redesign uh, for the mobile, uh, especially for the search results and the detailed pages. Uh, this is a completely uh, new view uh, we were working on, uh, especially for small screens. Uh, this is an overview of the search results. Uh, we can see that the users are able to, see, to better see now uh, all the, meta, uh, the metadata and uh, the access uh, mode, uh, for example, if it is open access. Uh, and they are also able to see uh, the usage counts metrics and the impact-based indicators. Uh, along with the uh, pop-up we, we already discussed. Uh, the, the filters button uh, is a floating button uh, always on display on the um, right uh, on the bottom right of the of the page, and uh, the the screen changes uh, when we uh, click on it uh, to view all the available filters. For the detailed pages, uh, we have also uh, made uh, some improvements um, in order to. Uh, to better facilitate the mobile uh, screens. Uh, we uh, start with uh, the main information and overview of uh, the entity we are in. For example, here it is publication we can see uh, on the bottom left. Uh, we have uh, main information and uh, tabs um, here uh, where when we click the page uh, uh, the, the screen changes and we see this particular information which we can close with uh, this X on top. And uh, if uh, we want to see uh, something in more detail uh, that uh, does not fit uh, this screen, uh, we can um, go back with this arrow or completely close the window and view uh, the, first, um, the first screen with this X. Uh, those three options are at the bottom of the page uh, are, um, are focusing on the main information and the main actions that the users have in a detailed page. Um, the second one is for metrics and uh, is a way to view, uh, again, the, the usage counts indicators and the impact-based uh, the usage counts metrics and the impact-based indicators, and uh, also um, the alt metrics badge. I, sorry, is uh, someone talking? Okay. Um, the third one is the actions. Uh, the third, uh, the third option at the bottom is the actions. Uh, where we can see uh, all the available sources, we can see also the versions, we can share uh, this, uh, um, this uh, product, this research result 
uh, to the social media uh, site, uh, add a claim to ORCID, uh, or use the linking functionality. For the next steps, uh, we uh, were focusing uh, both on content, content and uh, on uh, some improvements on the user interface. We are planning to, to design uh, new levels for fields of science and sustainable development goals. Uh, we, we are on the process of adding uh, PDF, uh, direct PDF links in the search products so, so that the users can uh, directly download, um, access uh, the sources uh, and uh, the, the whole record. Uh, we are also planning to add in the uh, search pages, uh, the, in the search projects, the usage counts metrics and the impact, impact based indicators. And uh, we are also, also planning to add in the search data sources page the usage counts metrics. And uh, we are already doing uh, more improvements on the redesigned pages uh, for the desktop views and the mobile views. And uh, for the mobile specifically, we are going to redesign uh, all the other pages as well. And uh, for organizations, uh, we we want to we will display and uh, search uh, by persistent identifiers, such as, uh, for example, ROR. Um, I think uh, this is it for me. I think I was uh, quick enough. Thank you very much. And I'm here for your questions. Thank you. I don't know if you want, or I know that the, the portal is having some, some issues, but um, as you told us, it doesn't affect the, the Explore service. So I don't know if you want to go through some of the features and do a, a short demo with the, with the service, if that is possible. Uh, and this, is, this is possible, of course. I think I covered uh, all the functionalities uh, with uh, the slides, but uh, we can have a quick view of how it is right now. Thank you. We start from the home page where we see the simplified search form. Um, when we click on that, we see that uh, we have uh, all the entities over here. Uh, and uh, we can see that if even if I go from the menu, for example, to the search projects page, I'm still in the same page, but with the selected projects tab. This means that in every search page, I can always see uh, all the available entities of the graph. Uh, this helps to, uh, for example, let's say, to easily search on something. And uh, if I don't want to see and uh, know more uh, the organizations, I can easily go to the projects tab and uh, navigate through the projects. Uh, I forgot probably to mention that uh, we have also added uh, here the keyword uh, so that the users are, um, are uh, uh, immediately aware of what they searched for. Uh, even if I go uh, down, down to the to the page. Uh, for the research products specifically, we can see here that the types are moved, uh, the type of the research products were moved here. And uh, if I click, for example, the research software, we can see that we have one document type, which is software. Uh, if I had clicked uh, some others too, we can see that we have more document types now uh, because the results are either research data or research software. Um, let's check for... Okay, let me uh, go to, to a specific detailed page. We can see that on top we have the, the action bar 
uh, we have uh, the information here. I, uh, sorry, I will go back to show you the, the actions bar that uh, I forgot to show you here. We see that when I hover on the usage counts or the um, impact uh, based indicators, we can see this pop up window. Uh, we can see that if I click here, we have all the sources available. If I hover uh, over here, I can see that Springer Science and Business Media LLC is the publisher. And for example, that these are the projects. Uh, on the detailed page, uh, the, the actions bar is on top. We have the blue box with the metrics on the right side of the page. Uh, we have the tab over here for the metrics and uh, for all the available um, categories, we have a specific tab uh, which uh, expose um, all the, the dedicated information. And we also have the, the subjects tab that uh, uh, shows um, in, uh, in particular the, the, or the, the keywords or the subjects by vocabularies. For the fields of science, we have the view all and suggest option. We can see here all the available fields of science that are related for this specific publication. And we can click on the suggest button to uh, view uh, the whole list of the fields of science available on the graph and uh, select some of them. Uh, click on the next uh, button. And then if someone wants, uh, they can uh, add their email to get some feedback. Uh, this is not uh, nece necessary. Uh, we should check on the I'm not a robot, a robot, recapture, and then click on the send feedback. I won't press it now because I, I didn't press any real data. Um, for the linking, I need to log in first. I'm not signed in. We can see that the, the generic flow I mentioned uh, uh, shows uh, this uh, stepper bar uh, on top where we can search for some uh, research products, uh, check on them and then move to the second step to search for example, a project here. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, the, this uh, basket uh, box we, uh, has two, two tabs, uh, one for the sources and one uh, for the links. Uh, but if, if we go uh, through the landing uh, from the landing page and click on the link to function, uh, action uh, button, uh, no stepper appears here because the first step has already been done. The source is pre-selected and it is the one I got in from. And uh, we can go back to this publication we were before. Um, I don't know if I have anything else to show. I can also... We have uh, some questions. If you want yes. To, yes, yes. to address them, um, and thank you for for this um, short uh, demonstration that you that you've made. Um, we have here in the Q and A area, Lauren Schmidt. Uh, our criteria like popularity, influence, or impulse were assigned. Uh, okay, this is an integration from uh, the BeepFinder uh, service. This is uh, another service uh, from uh, the open air. Um, we, we have uh, integrated those uh, values 
uh, in the graph and uh, we get it from the graph. Uh, how they are uh, explicitly can calculated, unfortunately, I am not uh, uh, the right person to, to answer uh, because it's uh, another team's uh, work. Uh, but uh, you can uh, contact us and uh, we can uh, get in touch in more detail uh, with uh, the proper team. Yeah, we have a, a service help, uh, um, help desk uh, at openair uh, EU for you to, if you want to to address us um, some doubts or questions related to open air services. So feel free. I will put it right the in the chat the the help desk uh, email if you want. Yes, and and I see that Alessia also shared in the chat uh, the page of uh, this tool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alessia. <laughs> yes, there you can find information about the indicators and also the, the publications that explain uh, the process and the, the methods that were used for their um, calculation. Uh, this link can be also found by Explore when clicking on, uh, uh, for example, citation. And uh, we say powered by uh, BibFinder. Uh, clicking on, the, on it will get you to uh, the BIP uh, tool page, BIP finder page. We have here another question on Explore website. The punchline is discover open linked research. Are these links between research data and publication? If yes, are they based on DOI? Um, Sorry, I can I should read it. <laughs> this couple. No, I'm sorry. If you want to read it. No, no, it's okay. Um, okay. Uh, yes, we have uh, we have multiple uh, linked uh, data. Uh, this is a, a basic word of uh, work of uh, the opener graph. Um, we we apply multiple alg algorithms. Uh, to uh, to de duplicate some of the data and find uh, the links uh, between them. Um, I, again, uh, this is a, a matter of uh, the graph process, and uh, I'm not uh, exactly uh, sure what uh, what to answer. Alessia for sure uh, knows better, but uh, do DOI. Uh, is uh, definitely one of the of the um, uh, fields of the metadata that uh, uh, are very important for the this linking process. Yes, um, maybe I can add a couple of words uh, if you want. Thank you. <laughs> so the, there are several ways for um, a link between uh, research products can enter the graph. It can be harvested directly from the repositories, the sources that we have. And in this case, yes, the presence of a persistent identifiers, which can be a DOI, but also a PubMed identifiers. So uh, every type of persistent identifiers are used uh, in order to map these links between publications and data, to software, uh, and et cetera. But we also have uh, mining algorithms that look into the full text of open access publications. And in that case, what we try to find is, yes, the DOI is in some cases, but also, for example, to create the links between the articles and the software. Then we look for the GitHub link or for uh, links to other software repositories. And these are found in the uh, footnotes of the articles, in the text, of the of the method sections of the articles and so on and, for, and so forth so there are different approaches based on the kind of entities that we want to link okay thank you thank you so much alessia also there's another question here from me and bremen said the new uh, developments look great uh, very well done what should I do to correct uh, the very limited results in search when I filter by my organization or by data source, my institutional repository? Um, uh, this uh, is a content uh, question. Again, uh, we uh, 
whoever is responsible for the specific organization and the data source uh, should probably uh, meet the, the, the respective team uh, from provide portal and uh, probably um, uh, add the, the organization or the data source uh, to, to the graph uh, according to, to our guidelines. Uh, Paula, uh, the, I don't know, would you like to, to answer or something? I'm not sure. Do you want me to? I, I don't know if you have anything to add. Sorry, I thought you, you wanted to say something. Sorry for that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. I was I was reading another question because I didn't pay okay. very much to what, you, to what you were saying. Sorry. Um, but you can access the, the Opener Provide portal and um, find there some instructions on how to, to register, for example, the, the data source. Uh, to, to be compatible with uh, opener guidelines uh, so that the opener graph can harvest uh, data from there. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. This is yes, and Andrea is also here, so maybe he, he can also he can also uh, help uh, with this, but uh, but yes, if you have some uh, issues with your repository or institutional repository, um, may you have uh, uh, to to send us an email and uh, um, the provide team may may give you some some help. And now we have here uh, one other one other question. What are the research community filters? Uh, where do they come from? <laughs> Alessia, Alessia, is you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very happy for this question. Uh, because this is how we uh, uh, created a connection between the Open Air Explorer and the Open Air Connect service. So with Open Air Connect, uh, basically we are providing portals that are dedicated to uh, specific research communities. So for example, we have the one uh, uh, about neuroinformatics, uh, we have the research community for Daria and for, for many, many others. And uh, we want to, to show that we have these dedicated portals for the communities. And this is why you can see the filter uh, in the search result list on the, on the left. But you can, when you open a landing page of a research product, you, you will also find there the link uh, to, to, to the different communities this research product is relevant for. And clearly, okay. we don't do it just because we, we want to serve a community because we are engaged with them. So we have an agreement with them and uh, they provide us um, the criteria uh, to identify among the open air graph the products that are relevant for them. Maybe if I can add, uh, it's also a matter of uh, trust. So if you trust uh, this kind of uh, communities, for instance, uh, Daria, uh, because you know the research infrastructure and you have uh, uh, some product that is uh, linked or recommended to this research community can be also helpful for uh, you as a researcher to maybe even increase the trust on the sources. Thank you, thank, uh, thank you, Julia. Also, and uh, if you want to open your camera or address directly the question, please feel free to do so. Um, and, and thank you, Alessia, for for answering for answering this question. Uh, we have here another one from an anonymous participant. Uh, what's the impulse metric based on? Uh, the impulse based uh, the impulse uh, metric is again based. Uh, on the Bib Finder tool, uh, you can uh, find more information on the site that previously uh, se uh, Alessia shared us uh, shared with us in the chat. I don't know uh, more to say, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, because it's a, it's a content question, and I'm not more. Uh, I'm more on the top of it. There's more questions here, but I, I can go through this one. Hello, it seems the metrics are not available for all research products. Does it depend uh, on the source 
or on the VIP services? Uh, it's definitely uh, the Bitfinder service. Um, the, so they have some criteria of calculating uh, those uh, in those metrics, those indicators. And uh, I don't know wh what exactly are these criteria, but uh, you can contact us uh, or maybe find some uh, more information on their page. Okay, thank you. And about the about the filters of the research data type, um, there are, can you tell us more about that or? Uh, I, I know that they are uh, subcategories of uh, the research data. Um, they are uh, based uh, on the content of uh, the, the specific research data. Uh, I am not sure I can check uh, which are they actually because I don't remember by heart. Um, give me one second. Yes, I can see it's bioentity, data set, image, audiovisual, clinical, clinical trial, and uh, others. Uh, it, it depends uh, on, uh, on the source that we got this information from and probably on mining algorithms uh, that uh, I found uh, according to the content, content what this is about. Uh, it's about uh, narrow, narrowing down more uh, the, the search. Okay, okay. Um, another one in terms of assigning new fields of science or sustainable development goals to a new publication. Who does that? Is that controlled? Yes, uh, as soon as you, you use our form to send us uh, the, your suggestions and feedback, uh, we get an email uh, that uh, has your suggestions. And uh, this uh, is controlled uh, this, uh, by, by human people and uh, specifically from, uh, from the team that is uh, building them and uh, curates them. And uh, this is the, the Sinobot team, a partner from uh, Athena Research Center uh, that is a partner, partner of Open Air. Uh, um, now we have here a specific uh, uh, question more related to a researcher uh, with a certain uh, ORCID ID who, who says it has more than 300 publications, but here it only appears uh, 18. So maybe he's doing something wrong. So if you have um, some oh. suggestions to improve or... I can uh, check the, the, the specific author and uh, check if uh, indeed uh, the, the results, the, the, the number of the results uh, is the same as mentioned. Uh, you can use the advanced search page uh, to, to specify uh, the author by his uh, or her ORCID ID. Uh, indeed, we have uh, 18 research products. Um, the, the fact that they are 18, despite the user may have more, uh, is, um, is because uh, we may uh, not have the association that uh, this uh, user of, with this ORCID ID has uh, this specific, uh, um, uh, is among the authors of this specific uh, research product, uh, or probably uh, where he has deposited them, um, they have deposited their research, uh, we we don't harvest uh, from there. Um, what uh, the user can check, uh, if if for example you are one of them, uh, you could uh, find try to find uh, in the graph uh, this specific uh, research product. And if uh, you are not, um, if your ORCID ID uh, is not um, among. Uh, the authors, and the, it is just your name. You can uh, claim it to ORCID, uh, see it immediately in your ORCID record page, and uh, as soon as the, the graph uh, synchronizes the data with uh, the ORCID uh, data, uh, the, the green ORCID icon will appear next to your name. If it, uh, um, if this, uh, these works are uh, of another user, uh, uh, you can not do much just to uh, probably um, 
um, suggest us uh, which are the repositories that the research, this research was deposited so that we can uh, also harvest from there, if possible. Thank you. You're welcome. I just left uh, the email for the outdesk um, for for the ones who are still here. Um, and thank you for 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 answering all all these questions. We have a last one, Constantina. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, what is the relevance criteria? Um, it is the default uh, results page criteria. Uh, yes, it is the the default results page. It is based on how. Uh, we have configured uh, the the backend service, uh, the the graph uh, that serves um, the backend service that serves uh, uh, gives the the contents of the graph. Um, it, I don't know. I, we have relevance criteria. We have a date criteria. Uh, it's a matter of um, sorting, and uh, if uh, someone adds a um, a keyword in the search form. Uh, we have uh, those uh, some uh, some pre-specified uh, fields uh, where we search uh, on them, and uh, we usually uh, mention them on the um, on the placeholder of the search form. For example, if you uh, are searching uh, of uh, the title and uh, the authors list, we we are saying that search uh, the name or the authors of this uh, research product, for example. Uh, if you want a more specific query and um, uh, you, can, uh, you, can you can use the advanced search form uh, where you can specify uh, exactly uh, which fields will be queried in order to find the relevant data. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Constantina for the for this detailed detailed information that you share with us and to to have uh, to have answered all the these questions so um i don't know if anyone has um more questions or doubts to address to constantina i see that andre andre has also replied to the colleague so uh, related to that specific repository so uh, and I've shared also the email for the help desk service of open air. And uh, I also shared uh, a link for you to uh, send us um, your uh, opinion uh, about, about uh, this uh, webinar. And I'll share it here with you again. It's very important for us um, to have your, your opinion and to tell you that the, um, the recording and the presentation will also be made available uh, in YouTube and on Zenodo and on the webinar pages. Um, I also will like to um, leave here another link for the support area of uh, open air. Here you have um, some materials and resources that are very useful, uh, not uh, on not uh, only related to the services, but uh, RDM and open science related issues also. So you can find it there: fact sheets, webinars, guides, um, and other and other support materials that may help you in your uh, research uh, activities. So, by my side, uh, thank you, Constantina, and thank you all for for being here. And um, we'll we'll soon uh, may we we see you in uh, in future in future open air events. So thank you so much. Uh, from my side, I would like to thank you all uh, as well very much for being here. Uh, I would like also to tell you that I mentioned uh, the the user testing process uh, that uh, took uh, place a couple of months ago. But uh, if any of you would like also to, uh, to be uh, in touch and uh, probably uh, also uh, participate in a future user testing, uh, we will be happy to, to contact us and uh, tell us that uh, you want to be uh, one of the people. Uh, because we, uh, your feedback is very important for us. So we would like to hear from you and um, be in touch. Thank you very much. Thank you, Constantina. Thank you all.
And I will leave the, the session open for uh, a few more seconds for you to copy some links if you want, and then I will close it. Thank you, Constantina. Thank, Thank you all. You. Have a nice Thank week. You. Goodbye. Goodbye.